Today we're talking about 10 things new players do in zombies and I mean some of these are common mistakes that you can easily avoid but other are just pure noob mistakes and I'm pretty sure you will be guilty of at least one. There's one thing on the list I myself is guilty of to this day as well and I'm pretty sure it is really hard to avoid. You guys will know in just a little bit but after you finish watching this video let me know what mistake do you commonly make and if you're watching this video around sledgehammer zombies release or the next track zombies release time definitely avoid these mistakes all right and I'm pretty sure this video can also be served as how to get better at zombies but hey we have a couple of homies that actually subscribe to the channel and I want to say thanks to all these peeps if you're new to the channel hey definitely do consider subscribing by pressing that red button down below and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video and if you happen to be an OG subscriber that want to be put in a video just say put me in the video dog and I got you but hey let's get this started at number 10 we're we're talking about drops. You know those max ammo drops, nuke drops? Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I got like two friends IRL. IRL, if you don't know, means in real life. Oh, that, uh, I play with once in a while. There's one of my friends that is an experienced player and the other one is playing zombies for years now. But every time he sees the nuke drop, the max ammo drop, he acts like the world is about to end. He just forgets everything. He rushes his ass to grab that nuke or max ammo. Whatever is in front of him, he does doesn't give a damn and the thing is he repeats it over and over and if you don't see anything wrong with this well the thing is getting nuke on early rounds can kill the potential of making points you can kill zombies make points that way open doors get good perks and guns you know what I'm saying right and when the drop is about to disappear you take it to maximize your points when you and your teammates think it's needed as for the max ammo you shoot as much as you want you reload and when it's about to disappear you take it now I understand the fact if you're in middle of a lot of zombies and it's now or never obviously you want to take it now but when it's a dog round well a little patience can make your life easier and can make you or provide you with maximum ammunition at number nine we're talking about the fire sale drop. Now, I could have merged, I could have easily merged this with number 10 spot, but I thought it deserved a dedicated spot on the list. Now, fire sale is a homie, right? We love it when we see it, we hate it when we don't, but I've seen so many players down because of this, and I myself used to be super guilty of this, but not anymore. If you see me do it, I just do it for the lulz, man, but the fire sale on high rounds with four players is a no-go. Normally, every time someone picks it up, all the noobs will fly to the closest mystery box there will be only one guy that may go to a different one, but all the players will be on the nearest mystery box location. For example, people at Walmart on Boxing Day or Black Friday. If you can picture that, hey, you know what I'm saying. Trying to be the cool ass guy and getting guns first and shit if you get what I'm saying. There are a lot of chances you will get a crappy gun. And if you get a good one, well, you will only going to see it and your teammates will be hearing you say, revive me, I got a ray gun, and they're most likely gonna be dead as well, so it doesn't matter. Now the solution for this is simple. Don't rush to hit the box mid rounds, just wait till the end, you will have a lot of points, so use them, you're not gonna be able to take those points and reuse them for your next game, so use it for the current one. Now speaking of the ray gun, at number 8, we have the ray gun. The best zombies weapon of all time is something I hear every once in a while, and something I hear all the time if I join a public lobby, which I don't anymore. If you get a ray gun, you are considered a god in zombies. And this pains me and my homies for sure that are watching this video that knows what's up. Number one, ray gun is not the best gun. You and I are shit without PhD flopper. And even with PhD flopper, it's not gonna be good past round 40 plus. It can hurt you if you shoot it too close or if you shoot a zombie that actually is close to you, you might as well say goodbye. And if you get cornered, I mean, that's a moment when I wanted to say goodbye. Uh, and if you get cornered and you have a ray gun out well you might as well say goodbye before you even go down and you will have a nice ass head start on calling your teammates to revive you before you even go down just thought I'll let you know that's like a good tip at number seven we have this thing called F everything not gonna buy any wall guns no perks I'm ahead of the box on round two maybe I'm being a little generous right now because the dream of these players is to hit before or hit the box before round one even ends they barely make a thousand points and they want to hit that box if somehow they do hit that box chance 
chances are they will get a crappy gun. If they get something good, then mamacita, you know what I'm saying? But if they don't, the next thing you know, they will have no points and they will end up going down. If they get lucky and survive somehow, now keep this in mind, as soon as they get 950 points, they will be where the box is. At number 6, pack punching guns before they run out of ammo. I've seen this time and time again and I will try to explain this as much as I can, but it seems like they don't want to listen. For example, the thunder gun. Normally what I like to do is, first of all, I will use all of its ammo before pack a punching and sometimes, e even if I run out of ammo on let's say round 20, I will wait for a max ammo or for a dog's round because the thing is, when you pack it, of course you will get additional ammo and that is good and dandy, but after that you would have to rely on getting max ammo big time if you do run out of ammo. Same thing goes for the Wonder Wolf Ray Gun, Ray Gun Mark II, the Apotkin Sermon and shit like that. I see a lot of people just pack punching guns before they even run out of ammo. At number 5, reviving teammates. Now if you're playing with people and they are willing to revive you, hey, that's a blessing, but there's a right moment to revive. Normally what noobs do is that they don't care. As soon as someone go down, they will run instantly towards them and they will try to revive them. I mean, that's mad love and I appreciate it, but you will also end up going down and now it will be two players down that the next person would have to revive. So think about him. I actually once streamed with randoms and there was one guy that was going down quite a lot. Let's say I revived him 5 times out of 10. I would always get comments from people, why don't you revive him? And the thing that they don't understand is the fact that if I do an attempt to revive him, I will also go down and the game will be over because guess what? The two players that I was playing with that were actually good, they left the game because that guy was going down. At number 4, aiming down sight every single time you try to kill a zombie. On early rounds and if the zombies are just gonna spawn in front of you, it's understandable. You wanna always aim for the head, maximizing points, maximizing the damage and everything. You know how that goes, right? But when you have a whole train of zombies behind you, these noobs always aim down sight. And man, you don't wanna do that. When you kill a zombie or two, they will respawn and if you do the same after that, you can easily go down because guess what after that they will be everywhere at number three there's this thing called f everything and let's not group zombies and i'm super guilty of this basically on a high ass round a lot of the times i don't let zombies get in a horde i just straight up start killing zombies as soon as i see them spawning in and the thing is you don't want to do that and then when there are a lot of zombies i will just start like letting them in a group and start hoarding them and training them and whatever or whatever the best word is to describe that shit if you get what i'm saying it's it's a super common mistake, but I find really damn hard to avoid. And this is the stuff that noobs do all the time, and even some people like myself. And number two, buying speed cola before Juggernaut, or buying any perk except Quick Revive that was closer to you. I see times and times where people would buy random ass perks before buying Juggernaut, and half of the time their excuse would be it costs less and Juggernaut is expensive as hell. Or what the smart noobs would say is getting to Juggernaut is expensive. And in some cases, it is true, but they will buy random ass perks before buying Juggernaut and they will end up going down. They waste all their points and now they would have to buy all the perks once again. And in the meanwhile, guess what? They will most likely gonna run out of ammo as well. And if I could do one thing for you right here, it would be uh, my suggestion and recommendation to you is gonna be like, just buy a good wall gun and then buy Juggernaut to begin with. At number one, now this is a very common mistake new players will do. I mean, I mean, this is basically the best way to find out who is noob and who isn't. Normally, a person that plays zombies a lot or have played for a long ass time would know if you go prone at perks, you will get extra points. I used to get comments from people, why did you prone around quick revive? Well, they can clearly see I got 100 points from that quick revive. But hey, let me know what are you guilty of from this list or what were you guilty of if you happen to actually escape this noobism. I'm not even sure if that's a word or not. But hey, let me know in the comment section down below. Check out some other videos by clicking them on the screen if you have missed any of them. Subscribe if you happen to be new and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon.